today let's discuss about cost accounting module in dynamics 365 finance and operations with respect to mb300 course the cost accounting lets you collect data from various sources such as journal ledgers sub ledgers budgets and statistic statistical information you can then analyze summarize and evaluate cost accounting cost data so that management can make the best possible decisions for price updates, budgets, cost control, and so on. So one thing to add here is that the cost accounting module is uh, independent of the legal entities. In the cost ledger, you can sum, uh, sum up the related data from all across the legal entities. The cost control workspace is the central point where managers who are responsible for controlling a cost object or a set of cost objects within a dimension or across the dimensions, for example, cost centers and product groups can access reports. The reports in the workspace are fully managed by the cost contents so that the layout and the data that are used for reporting can be consistent across the whole organization. Let me show you the cost accounting module on Dynamics. So here in the modules, you will have the cost accounting and the space which we were discussing is the cost control workspace. So here you can see the statements which are available out of the box. You can configure as much as as many as you can. But here uh, in the demo data which are available are the actual versus budgeted current period, then actual versus budgeted year to date, cost behavior, current period, and then year to date, and then statistical measures, and then profit by product group, current uh, period, and then uh, there's a column for year to date, and then actuals. So let's select a period here. In the demo data, basically the data is available in 2017. So let me select here the 27 period. And here you can see uh, the system has populated the rejected cost uh, data uh, from across the legal entities. Here we can see the total cost. And if I want to drill down to this amount, how this has been uh, accumulated, so I can go to view details and system will show me the different uh, amounts with respect to the cost elements. In my case, which is uh, the cost center. So here you can see that the main account 600, 256, uh, 00250, and 602100, and then the 602170 are actually responsible for all these uh, cost accommodation. So here we see the current period total is 3024, and for salaries and wages expenses, uh, it is 135,000, and for group rental insurance expense, it is 3. 1375. Then uh, I can uh, measure this against my budget. Uh, so the budget, uh, it is, there's no variance actually uh, within the first two lines, but in the third line, the budget is exceeded by a uh, 0.74 percentage. And then there comes uh, the year to date balances, and then there comes the year to date budget, and then the year to date variance figures. So in the last, you can clearly see that uh, there is a negative balance of uh, <coughs> variance of 450 for the group rental uh, expenses. So it's a very uh, convenient job for the cost accountants and for the internal managers who want uh, who, who are overseeing actually the the whole organization and who are responsible for the whole group budgets. It's a very handy space and handy reports for them. Now let's uh, do words. So here's the cost accounting workspace. Here we have the cost control, which I just showed you. Then we have cost accounting ledger administration, where different ledgers will be maintained. Then within the setup, we have a wizard uh, sort of setup uh, in this uh, uh, module. So we, uh, we can run that step by step, and then system will uh, like generate the widget will generate few parameters for for the users based on those uh, options. Then we have a separate parameter step where uh, if I don't want to go with the with the wizard uh, area, I can uh, I configure uh, all the 
contributed settings myself. Uh, then we have the ledger setup, just like we have in the general ledger. Uh, since the general ledger is actually uh, for the legal entity specific, but here the ledger setup, I can uh, define cost accounting ledger separately uh, based on whatever criteria I want to use. And then uh, through that, I can like, uh, I can, uh, oversee and control my all uh, across all costs across uh, the different legal entities. Then there's a fiscal calendar that is which is same as coming from the Dynamics 365 general ledger. And then there are currencies, uh, and then there are the currency date types and the currency exchange rates. So it's uh, integrated with that. And under the dimensions area, we have cost element dimensions, we have cost object dimensions, and we have statistical yeah. dimensions, and then uh, there are the dimension hierarchies. Uh, the complete details of these all functionalities will be covered in, will be required and covered in uh, MB310. For now, you just need to get an overview, a high level uh, overview about what is the cost accounting and what it is doing. Uh, what is the purpose of this cost accounting? So basically the purpose of this cost accounting is to have a global uh, cost accounting ledger for where you can see and compare budgets against uh, the, the cost accounts uh, based on different dimensions. It is not general, uh, it is not legal entity specific, it is global. So the main uh, benefit of, this, of using this cost accounting is uh, that the internal accountants can uh, view uh, the cost at uh, global level. Thank you so much. Uh, next, we will be uh, covering uh, the, the high level of cost uh, management module, which is coming down here. So we will be discussing that in the next session. Till then, goodbye. Have a nice day.